How's it going? Thrall's Metal here again, and I'm Necrotic Nick, and we're going to do another collection update. I've done one of these in a while, so I figured I'd keep you up to date as to what I'm purchasing, because I'm always purchasing music. So let's get this going. Power Trip. This is their reissue of their early works, Opening Fire, 2008 to 2014. I'm pretty much of the opinion these guys were always awesome. These guys are a fantastic thrash band, um, just revitalizing that whole sound. Like it's very much like kind of Bay Area meets crossover thrash. Uh, these guys are just fantastic. I especially love the Divine Apprehension and the Evil Beat. It's just fucking awesome. Just beat down, angry fucking thrash, just as it should be. Fucking love this. Most people are familiar with these guys, but if you haven't checked out Power Trip, just check them out. They're incredible. Worm Witch. Let's see. Heaven That Dwells Within. Uh, this was one I kind of picked up on a whim, and it's awesome. It's very much in the vein of kind of dissection, uh, sort of melodic death meets black metal. It was advertised as Crust 2 in the uh, Encyclopedia Metallum, which I was a little confused because there's really not a lot of that on there. You get some gang vocals and some D-beat stuff occasionally, but for the most part it stays very much it's a dissection, a little at the gates, riffs here and there. Really, really well done. Excellent, excellent listen. Recommend jamming this. This is out on Prosthetic Records. Solid label too. They usually put out good stuff. Truth Corroded. The Savior Slain. This is a band that I recently just heard of. I believe they're on Unique Leader now. This is on AFM Records out of Germany. They are from Australia. It's pretty much a straightforward death metal act. Very chuggy. It kind of reminds me a lot of um, Leveling Creation. Coincidentally, Brent Hoffman actually popped up on this. And uh, it's just pretty straightforward. It's really good stuff. It won't really want like dazzle you or blow you away in the sense like, oh, this is the most fresh new thing ever, but it executes well. And sometimes that's all you really need out of death metal. It just needs to be death metal. Good stuff. Check it out. Exumer. Hostile Defiance. This is their brand new one that just came out on Metal Blade. Uh, this is a German thrash band. They kind of flew under the radar, you know, unlike their kin creator and uh, Destruction, Tankard, Sodom, but uh, these guys were a really solid band. Uh, they just recently reformed within the last uh, 10 years, I don't know how recent that really is then, but uh, just straightforward German thrash metal. It's really fucking good, really catchy. The opening track and title track is fantastic. There's some uh, mid-tempo stuff in here that's only okay, but a lot of it is really solid. So if you're a big thrash fan, if you're a big German thrash fan, definitely check out this new release. It's really good. Eradicator, The Atomic Blast. It's another German thrash band. Uh, newer though. This originally, I believe, came out in 2009, and this just got reissued on Green Zone Music. Uh, very straightforward thrash metal. Uh, some more groove metal elements in here. It kind of reminds me of Megadeth meets Creator, except not quite as good as either one of those bands. Like, they're good, but, I don't know, sometimes the songs run on too long, and they just kind of miss the mark on some choruses and such. But there's some really good stuff in here that I did enjoy. Uh, check it out. Uh, it's reasonably new. I think it just came out this reissue, so it should be circulating around. Enterprise Earth. I decided to give Deathcore a chance again. Uh, I had seen these guys before and I thought they were pretty good. I'm just not that into Deathcore anymore. I jammed it and it's not as though it's the most awful thing ever. It's just not what I get into. A lot of open core breakdowns and the standard high solos you hear in, you know, Deathcore. It's, I don't know, it's, it's Deathcore. It's not terrible. I mean, if you're a big Deathcore fan, I'd totally recommend checking it out. I'm just not much of a Deathcore fan anymore, so eh, this one's gonna kind of fly under the radar for me. I mean, I've jammed it, thought it was all right, but again, just not my thing anymore. Ceremony of Silence, Autis. This is a blackened death metal band from Slovakia. This is out on Willetip Records. 
these guys sound like an awesome combination of immolation and ulcerate like real dissonant ugly melodies lots of really awesome insane drumming on this but they know how to break it up with some slower doomier moments that very reminiscent of immolation really really good stuff production on it's pretty solid it creates a really murky atmosphere uh, this is their debut album too so this is this is pretty fantastic stuff Willetip's got some cool stuff coming on the horizon too so this is a good way to start off I, I really really dig this album I totally recommend jamming it really good listen Feral Flesh for Funerals Eternal this is straight up Swedish death metal if you know like Dismember Entombed Bloodbath you know stuff of that ilk this is very much what you're looking for right here this is fucking solid um, if it's not on uh, Trans City and Obscurity Records, which has so much stuff from across the fucking globe, I'm really digging that label right now. But yeah, this this just just comes out fucking swinging and just not let up. You know, and maybe if you're looking for a touch more melody, maybe not this, but fuck it, dude. If you just want to go heavy as balls, right here, this is good shit. Yeah, I'll just put these up as a pair. Uh, got some more drawn cord. Uh, pretty much I think I've had a couple of their CDs in every one of these videos so far. And I'm slowly collecting their entire discography because I dig this fucking band. Very much in the vein of Incantation, I've probably said that before. Uh, this one was one that came out in 2003. Um, just straightforward awesome death metal. This one came out on a smaller label and I believe part of it is a demo. Uh, this is when they were transiting labels I guess. and. It's really good. Both of these are really fucking good. Like, if you just love really dark, evil-sounding death metal, either one of these. Jam them. They're fucking great. Autopsy. Fiend for Blood. I actually already have all the songs for this on the reissue of their third album. Um, but I wanted an actual copy of the EP. It's a pretty solid EP. It's very straightforward. Autopsy. The records kind of went downhill for a little bit after this, and then they broke up and did other stuff. But this is just really solid old school death metal. Kind of a nice punk background to it too. It's really nice. Like you definitely feel like you know his influence and in death from that first album definitely carried over into Autopsy, and it's fucking cool. Chris Ryford fucking rolls. He's a great old school death metal guy. Just you know, jam this shit. Just jam it. It's fucking great. Dawn of Azazel, Sedition. Uh, I picked this up on a whim out of a used bin, and it's okay. It's more technical death metal. I believe they're from New Zealand. Uh, I think it's a three piece. I believe it's a three piece. They play like pretty much like a almost like a technical dying fetus esque, I guess. Uh, the vocals kind of stay in a mid-range the entire time and it doesn't really break you know go for like a higher scream or a lower roar it really gets kind of static and they kind of get lost in trying to build these more complex songs without you know throwing in some hooks which drives me nuts like i love tech death but there has to be some hooks otherwise you just get lost in all this you know fucking noodlery but i mean there's a couple of good songs in here i thought they were pretty decent but all in all, eh, I, I've heard a lot better. But still, check it out. It might be your thing. It's just not mine. And finally, this one's been one of my favorites, Glacial Tomb. This is the lead guitarist from Chemist's death metal band, and they're fucking fantastic. This is awesome. There's like hints of black metal in here. Real straightforward, just stomping rhythms very much in the realm of uh, you know, once again incantation there's a bit of like bolt thrower s kind of just stomping moments it's it's just fucking brutal as fuck and just shows the level of talent that's in the band chemist this is so far one of my favorites that has come out last year that i didn't pick up last year this is just really good stuff this might have made my year end list last year if i had heard it but didn't get around to it, didn't even know it existed until I popped into a fucking cool ass record store and they had it. 
So that is the end of this collection update. If you like this sort of thing, give it a like, maybe even subscribe. I will catch you later. Peace.